Hello everyone, Triple here, and welcome, oh my god, I dropped everything. Welcome to the first round of the MPL, I believe, right? Yeah, the MPL, <laughs> I am remembering correctly. New draft with new people is always a scary sight, because I don't know what most of these people do. So, this might go either way, honestly. I did, I, I kind of started late with prepping. I prepped, like, just before the battle, like, the final things. But I got a team together which I'm pretty happy with. Which, he has a, um, a, a very scary team. He has Tapu Fini, Infernape, Tarina, Drapion, Aerodactyl, Licky Licky, Garchomp, Necrozma, Mega Scizor, Ninetales, and Circuitry. And as you know me, the very first thing I noticed was <laughs> Comfey. Nothing is faster than Comfey. The only thing he can really do is go Tsarina. Um, because it has the Queenly Majesty. Or Scizor. And neither of them likes a HP Fire very much. Um, and beyond that, a Calm Mind Comfey can literally just sweep him. And the th fun thing is, I kept this, um, it's 152 speed, which makes it faster than max speed Scizor, so it can't Iron Head me. And even without the Barberi Berry, um, Bullet Punch from Mega Scizor only has a 25% chance to kill me. So, with the Barberi Berry, I guaranteed live that. And I get a HP fire off at plus two HP fire just kills him. Um, it does like 50 ish percent, like I believe 46 to 51. So it does good damage, but at plus two it guarantees kills, uh, which makes it a very strong option. The whole plan of this um, set is just getting Comfey to a point where it can sweep. Um, plus two basically guarantees I kill almost everything. Um, a Spadef Drapion could be a problem to that, but also Spadef Drapion isn't as good here because I do have the Corviknight and the Zygarde, theoretically. I didn't bring him, but, you know. Um, and Fini can counter um, set up, like counter Calm Mind, but also I have something for that. Um, so I should be good. Uh, and the whole plan is just having Confei. And I started off with the first three. The first three were always set in stone. These weren't gonna come. Volcanion is insane versus him. He has one switch in to Steam Eruption and it doesn't like getting burned. I say one because Fini isn't really a switch in because even combined Fini, like at plus six, I don't think Draining Kiss does much damage to me. And I have Water Absorb, so it can Scald me. So, even a Calm Mind, a standard Calm Mind Fini, wouldn't be able to break this. Uh, besides that, I also have Wisp, which would chip away at the leftovers, which is very useful. Um, and his whole team really, really dislikes burns. Uh, the only things that can get burned are Infernape, who doesn't want to come on, out on a Steam Eruption. Uh, Nine Tails because it's a special attacker, but again, it doesn't like coming out on like a Sludge Bomb or a Flamethrower. And Zerkatry, but it's a glass cannon. So, if I can get spread some burns around with this, that would be huge. Uh, also, this is just a good counter to Scizor. I calced and um, sent uh, to does like 30%. 30 to 40, something along that range. So it it's really good. Like just in general, like it gets most of his mons. Um, Mega Beedro is a Mega Beedro. <laughs> Doesn't need much other explanation. Like. <laughs> It's gonna click U-turn or Poison Jab.
the fun thing about this though is I have the third one for Drapion. Uh, if Drapion comes in. Drapion is something I'm like, you wouldn't expect it, but Drapion is really scary for me. Like, Confei, I, I count it. If he brings Spadef, uh, um, Spadef Drapion, Confei only does like 20% to death. So. That is actually scary, so I have Dorwan, and then I have Defog because he does have the Alon and Night Elves. And I can potentially. One, this is faster than anything, so I can um, Defog Hazards. So um, if he has uh, Aerodactyl, I can Defog Rocks because I do have Sashmon in the back. Um, but beyond that, also um, Alon and Night Elves, I can Defog the screen, which he seems very like setup heavy. And if he doesn't have that scream, that's gonna be a lot harder to do. So that's gonna be hopefully useful. This, I realized this while building. He has actually no answer to beware. <laughs> like a choice bent return just basically almost fully kills any mom on his team. Like maybe not Scizor. But like nothing likes taking that. Uh, also, I have Drain Punch uh, for the Scissor itself and also the Licky Licky. And besides that, I also have Darkest Lariat for the Necrozma, actually. Plus, as you can see, I maxed Defense, which makes this a secondary. Like, this is a check to Mega Scissor and Garchum specifically. Um, if I nerf, it's still like because Fluffy, of course, the fire damage. But the whole thing with this is, because I want to weaken everything for Convey, this is gonna be devastating to him. Because this can eat hits easily and then kill him on for it. So, don't sleep on the bear. Raichu is here as a dual check, actually. Because one, I brought Volt Tackle, which is here specifically for a Combine Fini. If I let Fini set up Combines, I have something physical to hit it with. I'll be faster. So I can potentially knock it out from the range. It does like 60 to 70%, uh, something like that. So I can hopefully knock it out with that. It has HP Ice, of course, for the Garchomp, which, duh. And then it has an, like, Volt Switch, okay. Like moving around is handy. Knockoff is just useful. It has an AV and lightning rod. Um, I could have gone with static, which actually would could be a very useful ability. But I go with lightning rod here, specifically for Circuitry. This means Circuitry, who has HP Ice because I have a Zygarde, has only has Energy Ball to hit Raichu with, which won't do a lot. I get to knock it off, which is probably very useful because I'm expecting like Scarf, um, so a knockoff on that would be huge. And then I can just kind of like sit in its face because it can Thunderbolt me. Uh, it's like my big answer to Electricity hair since I'm not bringing Zygarde. And it, it's just like one of those ones that's really useful. Like you wouldn't expect it to be this useful, but it is. So I'm really hoping this works out. And last, this. This is something I came up with while looking through this month's move pool. Because it gets Psych Up. And I was very scared for a long time for Necrozma setting up an uh, Autotomize. Because that means it outspeeds um, Beedro. So Autotomize is like potentially like deadly to me. So what I came up with here is I have Focus Sash, uh, also Magician. Um, so if I like use my Sash, I steal the items, which also is just more disruption. But the whole idea of this is Focus Sash and then Psych up whatever boost he has, which is most likely going to be a speed um, buff. And from there, I have base 80 speed. Necrozma has base 79 speed. <laughs> So I always outspeed Hoopa. This is designed to always beat Necrozma. And I also have um, 
side shock in case I do like I copy a Fini. Uh, then I can hit it on the physical side and it bypasses all the combines. And I have uh, Hidden Power Ground specifically for Dracoon since it is kind of an answer to me. Um, but I'm expecting to just have this for the Necrozma, which if it works is actually a really cool like strategy. Um, and I, I'll have to see if it works. It, it's gonna be very interesting to use. I'm not really familiar with Hoopa, but it's strong, so it, it's probably just a matter of it clicks buttons late game. So it's a very interesting team, and I'm really hoping it can put in some work. I've tried to very specifically counter mons and spe very specifically counter sets that specifically. So. Let's see if this works out, I guess. And there we go. He did bring Drapion. Okay, um... Worry, hold up. I, he, I'm surprised he brought the Alolan Ninetales. Um, he did bring uh, the Necrozma. Uh, he brought Fini. I'm, I'm trying to see what he didn't bring. Hold up. There's the five mons that aren't here. Which are they? There we go. I have a lineup. No Infernape. Uh, Serena makes sense. Aerodactyl, I'm actually um, kind of surprised it didn't come. What is stopping me from leading B Drill and just clicking buttons? I don't think anything is. The only thing is these two. I need to keep a watch for these two. I don't think plus one like Scarf Necrozma outspeeds Mega Beedrill. Let's actually check that. Beedrill Mega. Necrozma. If you're um, timid, 14. Yeah, no. Okay, it it doesn't outspeed at all. That's actually really good to know. Um, Scissor, I can. Yo, facts. But yeah, Beedrill is just a good lead. Um, Scarf Ninetales could be good. I, I, why do, okay. I do just get a free U-turn here. Actually, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before I click. Hold up, I gotta. <laughs> I gotta see real quick if Drapion gets like Sucker Punch. Uh, that's actually kind of because I want to take this as serious as I can. So, uh, hold up. Add Pokemon, Rapion. No Sucker Punch. Uh, does Choice Scarf outspeed me? It might actually. Hold up. Uh, I'm gonna check this. I'm making 100% sure. I'm sorry. Um, Four seventy-five. Yeah, it is faster. I'm just gonna throw off a drain punch here. I don't know. Oh, this man doesn't know.
Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, don't I always have the option of Volcanion here? Which is it just a free... A free, actually... Yeah, wait, I get to... Um, Steam Eruption. Or no, Sludge Wave is actually better. Okay, I got really distracted. There's a high-speed chase of a spider chasing a fly in my room. Uh, okay. No. Um. Sludge Bomb does a lot of damage here. It is Draining Kiss, which means it has a chance of being combined Draining Kiss. Oh wait, I got pinged for my own battle. He has weakness policy, but I don't really see how that matters. I don't think he can do enough damage because I am bulky. And I don't think he recovers enough here. Also, this might be bulky, in which case I could copy it with Hoopa. Stored power does good damage, not gonna lie. But like he said, there's no speed buff, uh, buff here. Uh, you know what? Yeah, no, you can have this. I just get to U-turn here. Oh. Okay, and we do have circuitry for this. Uh, I mean, Raichu for this. Man's really click draining kiss. No. No, we're not doing that. He's trying to hypnosis me, hold up. Co why? <laughs> okay, he did hit it. Ah! <laughs> No. Um, hold up. What did Knockoff do? Knockoff did 23. I feel like hit him. Actually, Volt Tackle probably. Yeah. Okay. That's good. This was only here to deal with, with circuitry. I'm gonna Volt Switch here. Yeah, because it is basically just gonna come down to that. Uh, hello there. What is your switch into Drain Punch, actually? Okay. Mens did 13%. I called it a day. <laughs> I know Hidden Power Fire does, uh, on my Comfey, does like 50% to Scissor. So if I can get it low enough, that's just a free kill with my Comfey.
The good thing is there's no hazards. So if this is um, set up... Okay, that is a problem. Um, I'm gonna actually hold up. <laughs> yep, no. Get that out of here. And get that out of here. We're, we're not... <laughs> okay, and this is really just a free U-turn. So... Uh huh, and he is that set, of course. Um, he is not a speed boosting nature, though. So I'm gonna return here so he doesn't get to set up. Like if he actually agilities here, also hail is ending anyway, so. We gotta show off the tech here, hold up. I just gotta stop it. The thing is, it doesn't matter what he does here. Unless he is um, the, the um, rock that prolongs the hill, which I don't think he would be. Uh huh. Hold up. Give me this. I'm just gonna because he has to bullet punch here. It, this might actually still win. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, let's go. That was actually an in insane first match. I love how so much of my tech came to play. <laughs> Hypnosis is a bad move, yes. But also, a lot of my tech came to play. Uh, also, Comfey didn't get any kills, which is kind of a shame. But yeah, I, I think I played that really well. I should have saved my Beware, to be honest. Because if it did kill my Volcanion... Yeah, and that could have been close. But yeah, that's a good start to the season. So, uh, with that, I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.